Dad who dislikes cats became obsessed with the one his son brought home. Now they are inseparable. If anyone came to me saying, let's get a cat, I would without a shadow of a doubt say yes. Cats are some of the most precious little creatures that can bless our existence with their tiny smushy faces, big eyes and the much feared murder mittens. If nothing stopped me, I'd be the cattiest person anyone had ever seen, yet the dream continues. Strangely, not everyone shares these ideas initially, but that can all change, just as it did in the story we'll look at today. A series of TikTok videos showed the amazing power cats have on dads that didn't want them in the first place, making the men fall totally head over heels for the felines. And it's incredibly adorable and hilarious to see their relationship, giving meaning to the saying that there's no bigger love than the one shared between a dad and the pet they didn't want. Before we get into the story, leave your comments down below, like and subscribe. You're not having a cat in this house was the strict stance of Raj, Sean's 60-year-old dad, but what happens when that rule is broken? A hilariously sweet video was posted on TikTok a few weeks ago by Sean Renu, beginning with a little collage of times he'd asked his 60-year-old dad Raj if they could get a cat. The answer was always a strict, you're not having a cat in this house, he told him. But that didn't stop Sean from getting one anyways. The video then cuts to a SpongeBob SquarePants-inspired way to say several months later, showing Raj playfully chatting with a fluffy white British short hair cat named Angie who'd taken over his spot on the couch. That's my chair, I want to sit down there. I want to watch TV, he jokes with her, before asking politely if he can sit down next to her. Yes, he's asking the cat permission to sit on the sofa he'd bought himself. I'm telling you, cats are magic. Well, the dad completely fell in love with the furry feline Angie, becoming great friends in a couple of days. The little exchange doesn't stop there as Raj focuses solely on the fluffy kitty, affectionately petting her while speaking lots of sweet nothings to the pussycat-o. He starts playing and counting her paws, saying, that's a paw there, second paw there, third paw there, fourth paw there. Raj continues to rejoice at the fact that she never bites him because she loves him, and he promises her, I'll always love you, I'll put on a Whitney Houston song for you every day. At one point the cat has had enough and grabs onto the loving hand to bite at it, leaving the man to say, aw, I didn't do any harm. It seems Angie is a loving and forgiving cat for the most part, but although it's normal for cats to scratch and bite in play, it may be one of the reasons why people dislike cats in the first place. Franny Sufi, a cat expert, explained the five reasons why cats are avoided at all costs by some people. Some are physical, such as allergies, causing the influx of both annoying and sometimes deadly symptoms. Other reasons are more emotionally linked. Whether it be a bad experience in the past or the cat seeming cold and uninterested, even though you came to them with the best intentions. Franny said that cats often communicate quite vocally and sometimes even physically with a swift swat of outstretched claws when too much petting overstimulates them. They're animals that like their own space, that have their own boundaries and opinions, and it may be off-putting to some. From sharing the sofa to sharing dinner, the pair has become inseparable. So why did Raj protest against having a cat so much? It seems that this pair have come to terms with their differences. From sharing the sofa to sharing dinner, they seem to be inseparable. But why did Raj protest against having a cat so much? Sean told Newsweek that his dad is normally a quiet, moody figure around the house, but he's got a second side to him. Raj disliked cats from the very beginning and his son explained that he liked wild cats but not house cats and would avoid going into people's houses that had cats to not get scratched. After months of pestering his mom for a cat, she gave in. We didn't tell my dad we were getting a cat until it arrived. On the day we got the cat, he walked into the room and I swear on my mom's life he was so starstruck. I could see he wanted to smile, but he didn't break a smile. It seemed it was love at first sight, even though Raj tried to fight it. After just one week, Sean came back home from work to find his dad playing with Angie and talking to her like a little baby. Despite Sean calling for her, she decided to stay with Grandpa. After Sean moved to another city for work, Raj took over as Angie's cat dad. He added, my parents really didn't want a cat in the house, but they fell in love with her. One cat is never enough, so Sean repeated the story with a second kitty named Tommy, which received the silent treatment from Raj at first. Sean came to his dad once more, asking whether they could get a second cat, and not surprisingly, Raj protested. One was clearly enough in his mind, but Sean did what he does best, and a couple days later, he brought back Tommy, a young tabby British shorthair. He placed the kitten onto his dad's lap, and Raj could not be less impressed. 
but a week later the story seemed to repeat itself, and even though Raj may not be as close to Tommy as he is Angie, they'd become good friends. A couple days later, Raj is seen cuddling and playing with a kitten. Although they're getting along, Angie is still the one that captured Raj's heart. The two cats are having the best time, Angie being a little princess of her castle with Tommy being a happy sidekick. The pair of cats seem to be enjoying their lives together, causing mischief and bringing happiness to both the family and all those following their adventures on TikTok and Instagram. Since Sean had to move to another town for work, Raj has become a true cat dad. Whether you're a cat lover or prefer dogs or lizards, each animal deserves to have a loving home, where they can be cared for and safe. John Bradshaw, an animal expert, explained that having a succession of dogs and cats taught him the individuality of animals and how, if possible, we should treat and think about them as individuals. I'd like to say a word of caution before you run off to get a pet after your family members have said no, as things might not end in the same fashion. Be sure that you're prepared to care for your pets, are able to do so financially, emotionally, and physically, and that you'll be able to give them all the love they deserve. If you're ever going to do something similar, aka getting a pet after your family told you not to, please consider all the pros and cons as it will be at the expense of the animal. We can't wait to see more of Raj and his fur babies and we wish them all the best. We're incredibly happy that Raj and the cats found each other and that it all worked out perfect.